Welcome to InstaDoodle. On the bottom part of the screen, you'll see the timeline containing all the slides from this tutorial. In order to get started, let's click on the second slide. First, let's learn how to move and rescale an element in the canvas. Click on the wall clock, move it on the right side, rescale it and rotate it a bit using the transform handles. Great! Let's go on the third slide. In this slide, we will learn how to edit and add custom text from the built-in library. First, let's select this text from the dotted rectangle box, double-click on it and change it to Y. As you can see, on the right side of the screen, we have the menu with the properties of the text. Here you can customize all the properties that you need. OK, now let's add a custom text from the library. In order to do that, we need to go under the Text tab, Select a font that we like, let's say caveat, drag it in position and change the text to animation. Rescale it a bit. Looks great, right? On the fourth slide, we will learn how to add custom elements from our library. In order to do that, we need to select the Doodles tab and the Props tab. Let's filter by shapes. And here I would like to find an increased graph element. Click on it move it in the right position, rescale it and bam! Looks amazing, right? OK, now let's go on the fifth slide. The first step is to select the Generate with AI option, click on it and you will see a modal opening showing your current credits and a prompting window. For this particular example, I would like the Doodle AI engine to generate a custom element containing a teacher presenting on a whiteboard. So let's type that. After writing the prompt, we just need to click on Generate and Doodle AI will create its magic. As you can see, all the results look great, but I like particularly this one. In order to use it in our project, let's click Add to Library. Now we should close the AI model and we can find the AI image under the Custom tab. In order to use this in the canvas, I just need to click on it. Let's position it in the right spot. We created our slide with just two clicks. InstaDoodle offers you the possibility to add a voiceover for each slide. In order to do that, we can go on the right bar under the slide properties and upload a custom voiceover. After the upload is complete, we can preview our voiceover here. Great! Now let's go to the next slide. On the sixth slide, we'll learn how to add a character from our built-in library. In order to do that, let's go under the Character tab on the Filter menu and I would like to select a businessman. If I scroll down a bit, I can see a nice portrait of a businessman. Let's select this one and move it in the right spot. As you can see, the businessman is on top of the speech bubble. InstaDoodle offers you the possibility to use layers in order to change the way elements overlap and also the drawing order. To access the Layers panel, we need to go on the left side under the Layers tab and here you can see all the layers that we have in this scene. The businessman is the first layer, which means he's on top of each element. I would like to drag this layer under the Cloud Speech Bubble. As you can see, the speech bubble right now is in front of the businessman. Let's drag him a bit to the right. So now everything looks as it should. Each element in the canvas has its own properties panel. If we look on the right side, we can control the line weight, the line color and the animation speed. The animation speed is important because it affects how the element is being drawn in the canvas. And going to the last slide, we would like to upload a custom image and also add the background music for the entire project. First, let's see how we can upload a custom image. In order to do that, we need to go back on the Doodles tab, under the Upload Image option, select a file from our computer, let's click on it and click on Upload. After a few seconds, InstaDoodle uploads the image under the Custom tab. Now let's click on the Drums kit, it will automatically add to the canvas. We can place it in the right position, change a bit the scaling and it looks great, right? To add the music to our entire project, we need to go under the Project tab, Audio and upload an audio file. 
After a few seconds we can see the soundtrack uploaded and we can also hit play to preview it. In order to review the project let's go on the first slide and hit play to preview it in the canvas. Now that we previewed our project we can go on the top right side, hit export and just select the preferred resolution for our project. For this one I would like to go with 1080p, all I have to do is to hit render. After a few minutes our animation is rendered and we can preview it right here using the play button. Great! You've completed your first InstaDo tutorial. In order to learn more about InstaDoodle you can head over to the dashboard page and watch the other tutorials or you can jump straight into the software and experiment by yourself with our extensive library and our Doodle AI engine. Until next time I wish you happy doodling! Have a nice day! Bye!